Impact area located in Sector 42. There's a new Space Force basic training video. We did one about a year ago when I first kind of started the whole reaction channel. It was dog sh Talked about the water bottles, absolutely hated it. But let's see what Space Force has now in basic training. And let me know what you guys think is the hardest basic training in the military. But before we start today's video, I want to give a quick thank you to today's sponsor, Gunspot. Gunspot is an online listing and auction site for both firearms, accessories, and all of the above. As you can see, there's a lot of great stuff. Buyers get great deals and never pay out state sales tax or any other hidden fees you might see on other auction sites. So once again, thank you to today's sponsor, Gunspot. If I'm being 100% honest, I don't think Space Force is going to come at me with anything new, bro. It's just not going to happen. The last one they showed him like doing drills and they're like i got you covered y'all not fighting aliens bro what are you doing stop it this looks stupid it looks like this time they're gonna go with like more like a a techie nerd sh which is where they belong okay whoa this is the inside of a radio golf balls by space force <gasps> balls <laughs> Bro, why? Most they got hell holes in it. that help guardians detect incoming missiles sent by foreign adversaries a I swear to piece of equipment God, this whole video is about them like defending us from ballistic missiles and shit. I will a butt. <laughs> Dog ass. And for those who don't know, Guardians are Space Force soldiers, people in Space Force. They get like the coolest name, but they do the least space stuff. I don't know. And help Guardians detect incoming missiles sent by you're foreign adversaries. No, you're not. A crucial piece of equipment that has saved hundreds of American lives. Tell me one time. So you're telling me Space Force has saved hundreds of American... Wait, that's it? Hundreds of American lives? They weren't even like billions of lives. Hundreds of thousands of billions of lives. No, they went with they saved like a couple hundred lives. It was the largest ever ballistic missile attack on Americans. On January 8th, what? 2020... Wait, when was this? Wait, wait, wait. Did we have a war and I didn't know about it? On January oh, 8th, 2020... For Iran sure. fired missiles at the Al Assad Air Base in oh, Iraq, yeah, yeah, where yeah, yeah, 2,000 yeah. American troops were stationed. Yeah, yeah. Our troops right here at Buckley were able to detect the missiles and then report the specific Space areas Force of did that? in Al Assad and afford the troops on the ground the opportunity to escape and get out of the way. And Whoa, we about to break some shit down, sir? Ooh! As a result, nobody died. This is why we have like CRAMs and shit. Those of you who don't know what a CRAM is, it's this thing right here and it goes, it's pretty sick. And those usually shoot missiles out of the sky when she's like, incoming, incoming. But wait, he said they detected it. Hold up, stand by. Troops right here at Buckley were able to detect the missiles and then report the specific areas at risk at Al Assad. Buckley, the missiles, the troops, the specific areas. And afford the troops on the ground the opportunity to escape and get out of the way. Dude, you're on a base. The rockets are just going to come in, bro. I thought he meant like they're in the air at Buckley. They're like, oh my God, sir, there's a rocket. Inbound in Iraq right now. We need to let them know. He's like, how much time do we have? It actually just hit. We totally it. Like, that's not how that shit works. I'm going to try and make it, like, super, super simple. Imagine an imaginary dome with lasers in the sky, okay? And then a rocket goes in the air. Boop, goes through that little dome. See rams and lasers and all this shit go. Whoop, gang. Not actually shooting it every time, but like locking onto where it is, okay? I'm wondering if he's talking about like the systems they in place, which would make way more sense, or if there was like a cache they got intel for it and then they were just doing like measurements and science. And that makes sense, but the way he made it sound is like Space Force implemented the systems and let them know and shot the shit out the sky and saved everybody. I'm like, no, not how it works. They saved mother potatoes ayo facts my boy since its inception in 2019 the united states space force oh shit, bro narrator in this bro yo shout out my boy narrator he made it he made it bro they said it right here let's go the united states space force has quickly become a crucial component of the u.s military mm. but many americans still don't understand what exactly this branch does I like the idea of a space force. I mean, I don't know if we need I don't it. Know. I'm sure there are better ways we could spend our money, but it sounds awesome. It really does. Don't fucking just like throw a fucking liver shot in there, you bitch. I didn't mean to call you space. Sorry, I love you. There's a possible event in sector 52. They just be throwing little shit in there to be smart, bro. There's a possible event in sector 52. Bro, I guarantee you the fucking camera's on. They're like, hey, hey, listen, do something smart or cool for the camera. Do it, go ahead. And then this dude just like, um, there's a possible event in sector 52. Dude, bitch, all these computers is off. You want to know why? They're in a f***ing bro! You can't even bring cameras into this f***ing 
<laughs> That's what that red tape shit is. It means it's secret. That's what it says on there. You're not allowed to bring USBs. You're not supposed to bring phones from the outside or they're just a class computer. We're just going to pretend it's a skiff though because that's probably what the fuck it is. So I guarantee you this shit's off. And if it is, someone go and get you, bro. So CI is for the Army Counterintelligence, but then the Air Force has OSI. I don't know what the Space Force has. I'm assuming since it's a department of the Air Force that it's going to be OSI. It's OSI for Space Force? All right, bet. Ooh, someone go. Get the booty. When I gave my job list to my recruiter, he's like, hey, all these jobs are either being transferred. What is this? Space Force, y'all got some of the craziest ranks, bro. It looks really cool, but God, that looks stupid too. Essentially switch from Air Force to Space Force. I immediately was like, yep, switch me. God damn, bro. Dumbo ass. After basic military training, junior guardians begin okay. their specialized about, like, classroom training in a program called Starcom. Starcom, bro. Starfleet. Let's Vandenberg. go. From there, we learned everything fundamental we needed to learn. Are they working on a satellite? Hold up. That's a mother satellite, bro. Everybody in Space Force, an astronaut. Let's go. A Space Delta is a Space Force organization that is Space um, Delta Force. Assigned oh, a particular uh, mission. Aliens area. are f within the Space Force. The I, I got to see this again. So you got Space Delta Two, SDA Peterson Air Force Base. Space Delta 3, S-E-W, Peterson Air Force Base. Okay, so it's all just Space Delta something. Space Delta 6, known as Cyber Delta, focuses on cybersecurity. From GPS to ooh, making ooh. payments on your credit cards to making phone calls to communicating with anybody in the world, all of that we can track comes all. down to what we have available in space. Blame. Uh, I thought I was going to say some cool shit to freak everybody out. Four's mission, per se, is to be able Delta to uh, protect, protect against to guard missiles, against missiles, uh, missile attacks launched against the United States, our allies, as well as deploy troops worldwide. At Buckley, Junior Guardians do on the- Oh, oh no, bro. See? Hey, they lying already, bro. Air Force B there, bro. Air Force B taking out- Job boy. training for three months in a mission management course. And we'll just drill them with different experiences, different Dude, lessons. They're just going to take we'll you. They're going to drill the f*** out of there. you, you know? I'm trying to get drilled every day. We were not permitted to film the screens, which could reveal oh, okay, top okay, secret areas now. of interest. But we were allowed to document a training session from an approved vantage point. Mm, I don't know, bro. Why would they even allow this, though? It, they, honestly, even though it is approved, like, why just for insider? Why would you even give insider the access to that? So they can get, promote us and have more people. We're, we're not really recruiting, so we need uh, we need this. So we allowed it as insiders. Bro, I f put stupid tiny fingers on my hands and grabbed the f potato. I got y'all more people than f business insider did. Put me in this sh bro let's do this i put space force on the map bro people didn't even know that shit existed people still don't believe me that this shit exists but i'm like no it's a real thing bro so we are being trained to be the first line of defense we are learning how to correctly and accurately it we are learning to be a fire alarm by the systems any of our adversaries could be throwing at us in sector to 52. detect incoming missiles they literally blacked out these monitors and post bro see this is stupid bro because that means the civilians could see this shit too the people who are behind the cameras y'all see how this reflecting off of the light all this shit shiny 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 flat black off of monitors and light that is in the same like like i'm like no this is in post bro they're like oh we gonna get in trouble bro we gotta hide this shit delta 4 uses a space-based infrared system or Sibbers, 11 satellites in Cibber, space Fibber, that Dibber. orbit around either the equator or poles and scan Earth's surface for heat anomalies. That infrared data over my head. No idea what the f they, they just said. Missile launch confirmed. Impact area located in sector 42. Junior guardians call authorities to inform them. She's like, "Hello, sir. They sent that rocket. Unless you fix it, we bout to die, yo. Blow that shit out the sky." Bye. How copy? This is Vortex out. There's a lot of pressure, but they also Don't teach us how sign. to do it correctly and uh, as calmly as possible. Uh, make sure we speak up a little bit, but great job uh, getting confirmation of- Bro, see, hey, he tell me that sh I said, hey, yo, run it back. I got this. I'll f it up, sir. I know how to do this now. Uh, and then they'll be like, Boo. They left the f Oh, sh It's f Dude, you got like 30 seconds. Oh, f You did great. I'm gonna need you to chill the f out. I'm be like, no, I did what you said, bitch. They can begin their job on the operations Space floor. Space Operations Center. Due to the oh, operations cool, floor's 24-7 active role in Whoa. missile detection, cameras are rarely allowed. But we were able to observe a Already couple doing of more guardians than the as they Air kept Force, watch baby. over the radars. What we do. The mission is accomplished by the young men and women sitting at the operations floor. And, and we put a lot of uh, trust 
uh, and a lot of responsibility on this folks uh, yeah, because bro. we have trained them to be that. Imagine great. if you right just now, don't pay attention and then you look and then the rocket's like halfway and you're like, oh, f I f***ed up. We got a rocket starter coming in. Training, I'm still a little nervous because I am not fully confident in myself, but I know eventually. Oh my God, bro. He should not be saying, damn. One more time. We have the best armed services in the world. They will protect us if any rockets come in to our area. I'm a little nervous because I am not fully confident in myself, but I know eventually later on in training, I will ah! be able to- Space Force is the president's boldest idea that he got from a Buzz Lightyear Happy Meal toy. Hey, it's still pretty dope now, bro. When the Space Force was first announced, it became <laughs> Even the I was subject like, no of late way, night dude. punchlines. There's even a Netflix series poking fun dude, this at the show is so <laughs> This show is so f***ing good. If you guys have not seen Space Force TV show, watch that shit, bro. I'll have you on your ass laughing. The Space Force also gets confused with its civilian okay. counterpart, NASA. So NASA, uh, NASA being our exploration as well as scientific branch of, of the government. If we were smart, we'd have just took NASA and turned it into a branch because they already done did all the shit, bro. They done did dude all the f***ing shit. People constantly ask us, or if they see me in uniform and I'm a Space Force uniform, they're like, oh, uh, have you been real? to space? Like, when's, when's the last time you've been to space? <laughs> the, oh, oh, you, oh, Space Force, huh? You've been to space? <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, there's actually very few operators that do go to space. Uh, lucky for Who's them. Who's been to space? Uh, well, Everyone shut up. Hold on. What? Few operators that have been to space. Oh, y'all got operators now, huh? <laughs> okay. Who in Space Force has been to space. I don't know, maybe they're super secret special operators. I've seen nothing, but it could not be public knowledge. I do not know, but uh, yeah, okay. Astronauts are their Delta operators? Ayo, hey, facts. But they don't use guns, bro. They use science. Success is not so much what we do to an adversary. Our success is more measured in terms of what an adversary does not do to us. They're like, it's not about how we like, you know, close with and destroy the enemy and like kill them. It's more about like how we can not be there when they try and kill us. Something that is necessary and our mission does not stop no matter what. How copy, this is Vortex out. Don't stop, make it. <laughs> I love Space Force though. Like, you know, in all seriousness, love them. And it, it is a, a great branch. And I highly recommend you guys go talk to your Space Force recruiters because it could be, there could be a lot of good jobs in there for you. Who knows? Okay, f you, bye. <laughs>